Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 18th of June 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine uh, Welts Stein. I hope I have said that correctly. <laughs> Probably not, but there we are. Okay, so before we start, Heather, I'm so sorry uh, to hear that they have now rescheduled your hospital appointment. Friends, they have moved Heather's appointment back from uh, her surgery that should have been today uh, to July the 9th. Um, that's a bit of a bummer when you've prepared yourself for um, for having surgery um, and then to be told it's postponed. OK, but Heather, I did <laughs> get you a little gift uh, and I got the uh, daily healing as long as, as well as the chakra love. Uh, I got this with you in mind. Um, I couldn't wait till uh, July the 9th to open it. So um, I've already had a little look. Um, and so we will have one of these first. Here we go. And these are by Inner Seagal. I'll show you again. Uh, they are cards for awakening your best self. I'm so loving these little inspiration cards. They're fabulous. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> and they've all got the tree of life on the back, but the image behind is different on every one. So <clears throat> I will share the images with you because you may take away something from the image. Okay. Know thyself. It is the most important task that you have. Wow, I like that one. And next we will have another card from the Chakra Love, Raise Your Crystal Vibrations by Katie, um, what's that say, Manicshaw. Okay, here we go. Oops. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Far too many. Just one card, please. Thank you. And again, I'll just show you the reverse. And you get Sacral Chakra. Um, the uh, crystal recommended is fire agate um, and it says creation the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth wow okay so let's get on with our reading and see what wonderful message spirit has for us for today now i've got so many cards i don't know where to put them all okay here we go what is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends thank you For Friday the 18th of June 2021, what do my friends need to know? Ooh, oh, okay, gosh, this deck is so chaotic. <laughs> okay. And your final card. Oh, friends, I forgot to get my wand just one moment. There we go. OK, and your cards are the Six of Pentacles, followed by the Seven of Cups 
and finishing with the king of pentacles so in this deck um, the lady originally created all the characters as female um, and then kind of at the end had a bit of a change of heart and did some extra cards so um, the emperor um, you can have a male or a female emperor and all of the kings um, you can have a, a male or a female king um, I made the decision to leave both um, both of the um, males and the females in the deck and that spirit would give us <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the one that is intended for us at the right time Ooh. <laughs> okay so your first card is the six of pentacles another card that's been um, uh, um, repeatedly um, uh, coming um, out in a reading six the number of balance harmony um, unity equal uh, equal proportion um, again it's this um, the karmistic debt being repaid uh, so this is again more from spirit really pushing the narrative home that you have gone through uh, a, a paradigm shift um, and the six of pentacles this is a lovely energy um, it's it's a charitable energy um, here we see the two ladies um, being given a, a cup of tea you can see on the teapot that there are scales and um, the, the person here uh, six drops in each cup so this is really equal proportion um, it also speaks of um, as I've said being charitable giving and receiving so maybe um, this is you um, hmm, giving to others that are less fortunate than yourselves it could be as it's pentacles it could be finances um, it could just be some things that you have that you no longer use or need um, that would be really beneficial to someone else it could just simply be of your time um, and going and having a cup of tea um, with a friend or with a neighbor or someone who who you know is lonely doesn't get to see people much doesn't get out much um, I see you doing that and spirit um, really uh, keep giving me the word charitable charitable uh, so this is what I see you doing today my friends being extremely charitable Wow next you have the seven of cups and seven is the number of spirituality uh, the number of magic and there is magic at work today a lovely image of the seven of cups um, and um, I feel that the cups here are represented as stars and the person here really showing you um, the message of the seven of cups as um, this is all about your wishes your dreams and your hopes um, but spirit saying what focus on one at a time this is what this lady is doing with her wand uh, just her focal point is all towards this one particular star this one particular dream or wish or hope uh, so spirit saying um, no scattered energy, no fragmented energy, no chaotic energy. Um, really, this is more mastery. This is becoming more skilled, spirit is saying, uh, with your focus. Um, so where are you putting your intention, uh, your attention? Uh, wherever you are putting your intention and attention is where the energy is going and flowing towards, Spirit is saying. Um, so if these other stars are representing things that you don't want, uh, Spirit is saying just do not put any focus on on that at all because you will still kind of give it power by giving it energy um, so this is disempowering uh, by using your focus um, disempowering anything that you don't want to bring into reality and empowering that which you do oh wow 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 okay and finally we have the king of pentacles and this is the female 
king of pentacles um this is a real down to earth easy going practical energy a very generous energy uh, the king of pentacles a real gardener um and we see that here with all the many different uh, yellow flowers um this is really um uh, like the energy of the sun or your solar plexus this is success this is positivity this is vitality um optimism i am hearing um happiness this is a real uh, card of happiness um and we see here um these pentacles around the king again represented by by the flowers but the centers are pentacles so this king really understands sowing seeds understands manifestation uh, understands the the magic the mystery um and on the uh, king's um hair or within the king's hair uh, you see this wonderful uh, castle uh, that the king is showing you um what she um, has built for herself over time uh, this is more mastery energy um, and here we actually see um, she is so achieved at at growing these pentacles um, that this pentacle is sort of she's taking it into herself um, so this is showing you how um, your garden is blooming f with pentacles with lovely sunshiny um, flowers because you have the knowledge the, the clarity um, on how to manifest and it's because it's because you know that you sow the seed within and therefore it manifests without oh wow okay so kings well they are powerful successful and accomplished collectively uh, they are air energy and pentacles is earth energy uh, so this is again more of you being this wonderful conduit between heaven and earth and you being the master manifestors that are walking upon the earth having this wonderful connection with the divine um, i really feel um, that this king of pentacles is relating to this card of know thyself it is the most important task that you have oh wow being charitable today um being really focused, um, knowing precisely, I am hearing from spirit, precisely and exactly where to put your intention to sow the, the most valuable um, seeds and to, to create, I am hearing, the most beautiful, abundant, bountiful garden, I am hearing wow 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 my eyes are drawn to uh, the sacral chakra uh, where all of your emotions and feelings reside um, again spirit is saying <coughs> once you know what it is that you want once you've had the the inspiration um, remember to vibrate that wonderful feeling of the thing that you want out into the universe so that you then get yourself into the wonderful allowing mode, the receiving mode, uh, where spirit uh, can give that to you which you desire and you can be there with your cup waiting to receive it. I am hearing. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> okay, next we will have Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. And I just need to take sip of my drink okay <clears throat> what is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends for friday the 18th of june 2021 Woo. What do my friends need to know? From Spirit. Friday the 18th of June 2021. Thank you. And 
and lower the camera. Oh, it looks like a, for some reason, that looks like our candle may go out, but it, um, <laughs> it shouldn't do. It is only a new one, but there we go. Well, a new tea light candle anyway. Okay, so your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is... Oh, wow. <laughs> you get love. We get these wonderful two pillars. And this is you um, actually getting a preview, I am hearing, of your bountiful, abundant garden. Uh, the seeds that you are sowing, you are sowing and vibrating with the energy of love. This is all about you um, doing something that you are passionate about and that you really love to do. Oh, and I really also feel that spirit is really wanting to fill your cup up with unconditional love okay <clears throat> wild rose roses are a universal symbol of love the rose was associated with aphrodite the goddess of love and beauty it was also thought to represent truth in Roman times, a rose was hung in meeting places with the understanding that only truth could be spoken under the rose. In many Native American tribes, wild roses are a powerful symbol of life. Some tribes believed that wild roses were protection and so they kept them in their homes. The wild rose, as opposed to the domesticated rose, represents a love that is wild and free and without bounds. It blossoms all summer and is beloved by bees and butterflies. The sacred landscape wants you to know. Love is all around you. Love is coming into your life. You are already more cherished than you could possibly know. Indeed, you are a sacred vessel for love to flow through when you stand in the centre of it all. All is well, no matter what is happening around you. You know that you are loved and you are lovable. You know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love. You are enough just as you are. The creator is love and in the depth of your soul you are love. In matters of the heart and romance all is healing, all is already healed. And in terms of self-love your confidence and self-esteem are growing as you take time to cherish and care for yourself. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, friends. <clears throat> Next, we will have a Starseed Oracle uh, from Rebecca Campbell. <clears throat> the message from spirit for my wonderful friends for friday thank you oh, okay we have two but that's fine and we'll have to do it like that i think mm. just slightly lower there we go okay and you get Oh, you've got the love. We get this again. <laughs> the Candy Staten song. <clears throat> Hadrian energy, codependency and boundaries. And, oh, wow, we get the blue flame. Uh, spontaneous awakening, activation and integration time. Um, oh, look at this. This is what you are doing here, my friends, integrating... Um, the pentacle, all the elements of earth. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, you got the love. The Hadrians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love, who see love in all people and situations. As a result, they can find it hard to have boundaries independent healthy relationships because they only see the unconditional nature of those that they meet. The lovers of the cosmos, they dive in fast, 
They're here to learn how to love while in a separate body, to learn to love self first and then establish healthy relationships with others, to remember that the love that they seek is already within them, that they truly do have the love all of their own. The message of this card is to review the ways that you may need to establish healthier boundaries. Perhaps you are in a codependent relationship in which you may be losing your sense of self. It's common for starseeds to dive deep into relationships, particularly with those who feel safe and are familiar at a soul level. Perhaps you're in a relationship in which you give more than you receive. Or perhaps there's a certain volatility to it and you're always unsure where you stand. This card is a sign to do a relationship review. See what energetic agreements you've made, consciously or unconsciously. To acknowledge if there are relationships in which you feel anxious or powerless, in which you don't feel like it's safe to relax and just be you. To assess if there are any places of inadequacy that you have used a relationship to soothe and cover up. Your starseed soul inquiry is, do I lose myself in relationships? And if so, how? And how can I develop a deeper love for myself? Okay, the blue flame. <clears throat> Oops. This is a card of awakening and energetic upgrades. Perhaps you've been going through a period of spontaneous awakening, receiving visions and having experiences that are out of the ordinary. In the West, little is known about the process of spontaneous awakening and it can feel very scary when we're going through it alone. Elsewhere, they can be seen as auspicious experiences, with those going through them being treated with tender care. The blue beings are thought to be activating beings with great potential for healing and upgrading our cellular structures. They appear in moments of extreme awakening, activating a physical kundalini awakening and a deep cellular and DNA healing. Many people glamorise the awakening process, however, in reality, it's much messier and much more difficult than most of us believe. We must first let go of what we think we know for sure, and how we make sense of the world, and that isn't easy. The awakening process, even when it is spontaneous, takes a considerable amount of time to integrate, and awakening without integration can leave us feeling very ungrounded. If you're in the midst of an awakening, treat this time as deeply sacred and give yourself ample space to ground and integrate the extreme changes that you are going through. <clears throat> Your starseed activation is, how do I allow myself to surrender to the awakening process that's right for me? How can I take things slowly and integrate my experience each and every day? Oh, wow. OK, both of those cards are very apt for this reading. OK, here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call <coughs> my trusty steeds. Excuse me. <coughs> and let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. Oh. Thank you, Ruby. Okay. The speedy Ruby. Okay, your card from Ruby. The kind red spirit is... Oh, yes, 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 my wonderful friends, old Ruby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe that you are worthy of abundance and a gift is coming to you soon. Friends, <laughs> self-care, self-love, self-worth. Find all of that within yourself and start vibrating it out, Spirit is saying. Then you can be open to receiving the bounty that spirit is waiting to bestow upon you. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Ruby says... 
the key <clears throat> the key to unlocking your greatest abundance is your ability to receive the greater your sense of worthiness the greater your capacity to accept the gifts and blessings the universe wishes to give you there are many gifts waiting to come to you right now but any guilt shame or unworthiness in your system will act like a force field and repel your prosperity Yes, it is good practice to think positively, be grateful, send out desires to the universe and say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effected if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good that you are asking for. This enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all of your heart's desires. They are telling you that all of these gifts can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds, release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being and in doing so open the floodgates of abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams, just waiting to surprise and delight you. There is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them, except to believe that you are. Oh, friends, <laughs> with vibrating with feeling, spirit is saying um, the keys, gratitude and love are your two keys today to vibrate gratitude out into the universe vibrate love out into the universe of course love for yourself self-worth um, when you do that you will be putting yourself in the perfect receiving place i am hearing oh friends a lovely way to end the week wow okay Ooh, how many <laughs> Oh gosh, far too many. Let's go again. They're all sticking to me. Right, we have another fabulous butterfly. It's not quite as big as the other one. But again, this is this wonderful transformation that you are going through, my friends. You are well and truly leaving the old you behind, old habits, old patterns. And you are transforming yourselves into the most gorgeous, beautiful creatures that... It's almost like you don't even recognise yourself, I am hearing. Uh, and of course, butterflies, as well as transformation and change, can be messages from loved ones in spirit. Where would you like to go? Wants to go on the love card. Well, of course, with all of those beautiful roses. And also we have... A little ruby. <laughs> we have a horse. Horses, well... A strength, strength of character, um, power, grace, magnificence, beauty, um, courage, um, speed, <laughs> um, all of these attributes. Um, where would you like to go? Wants to go on Ruby's card. OK, so we had gold, which is divine masculine energy, uh, perfectly balanced out with silver, the divine feminine energy. Um, and these two um, trinkets really just wanting to reinforce both of these cards. Um, so I feel the message today is, friends, whatever your desire is, just keep your intention and attention. Just stay, remain focused and remember to vibrate out gratitude, vibrate out love to be able to get yourself into the receiving mode so you can receive all of the gifts that the universe is waiting to pour down upon you wow 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 well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until next time my friends goodbye